Next we have practice it self check 2.5 expressions 3. We need to trace the evaluation of the following expressions and give the resulting values. We need to make sure to give a value of the appropriate type such as including a point zero at the end of a double or quotes around a string. In this first question, we have a 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. We notice that there is no quotation marks, so there's no strings here, and there's no decimals, so it is just going to be an integer. And if we have 2 plus 2, that's 4, plus 3 is 7, plus 4 is equal to 11. So for this one, we have 11. Next, we have 2 plus 2 in a string. And then after this, we have a plus. However, a plus doesn't always mean that we are adding something. It means, um, it can also mean that we are combining something. And this is common for strings. So if we have a system out dot print line and in the parentheses of the print line, we have multiple um, strings, we would connect them with a plus sign to have them be in the same string or in the same system dot out. So here we are going to have two plus two and then a space and then three and four because it after after there is a string right here which is two plus two after this it's going to think that the rest of these are just strings. So we have a space here because we have a space here and then we are going to have three and four. If there was a space between three and four, there would be a space between three and four here. But since there's not, we would just put quotations around this since it is a string. Next, we have two plus, and then in quotation marks, the string plus four. So we are going to have two, and then a space here, because there's a space in our quotation marks. And then we are going to have a two, plus 3, and then we're going to have a space, and then a 4, and then we have quotation marks here. For this next one, we have 3 plus 4, and since these are before the quotation marks, it thinks that it's addition. So this is represented as addition, but if it's after the quotation marks, it's just combining. So here we have 7, and then we have a space right here, so we'll have a space right here, and then two plus two. And then this is going to be in quotation marks uh, in the answer as well. Next, we have two plus two in a string right here, so we are going to have this as a string, two plus two, and then it is being combined with three plus four. Since three plus four is in parentheses, um, this means that it is thought of as addition instead of combining. Uh, so this is just going to have a space right here because there's a space right here and then seven. So it's going to be two plus two and then seven. Next, we have two plus two. It's in quotation, it's in um, parentheses here, but it's in quotation marks first. So since it's in quotation marks, that means that this is actually a, a whole string. So this is going to be two plus two, like this, and then a space, and then seven, like this. And this is in quotation marks. Next, we have our string, which is hello 34, and then we have a combination plus and then two times four. So first we're going to print out hello and then we have 34. This is what is in our string and then we have to combine two times eight, two times four, which is eight. So we'll have an eight here and this is in quotation marks. Next we have a two and then we have the string int 2.0. So we will have two, and since there's no space in here, it's just going to be parenthesis 
int 2.0 like this. And then since there's no space after 2.0, we are going to we this this plus sign right here is a combination. So we're going to combine 2 times 2, which is 4. So we are going to have 4 here and then we are combining this 2 as well right here. So we'll have a 2 right here. So our final answer will be 2 uh, quotation, or it'll be 2 parenthesis int parenthesis 2.042 as a string. Next, we have 4 plus 1 plus 9, and since there isn't a string yet, uh, it, it doesn't recognize this as a string, these are pluses and not um, something that would combine the strings together. So here we are going to have 14 and then we have a decimal and since we have a string in here now we are surrounding these by quotes and then since these are in parentheses it's going to be adding so we have a negative 3 plus 10 which is 7 and this plus is a combination so we have 14.7 so far and then we have to have a combination here with that's what that plus is and then 11 divided by 3 which is 3 so we're going to have 14.70 3 as our string. Next, we have 8 plus 6 times a negative 2 plus 4 before it hits a string. So all of this together. So we're going to have negative 12 plus 8 plus 4. That'll give us 0. And then we have the string 0. So we'll have quotes here. And then put that 0. Those from the quotes. And then we have a combination plus right here. And then inside of these parentheses, it's going to give us a 7. So we're just going to combine this, and it'll be 007. Or 007. Next for this one, we are adding these two together. So this is going to be 2. And then we have these, which are quotes. So, And then this is going to be a combination, since it is a string that's next. So, we're going to have 2, and then since there's no space, 8, and then, or minus 2, and since these are in parentheses, we have to add them together, so 8 minus 2 is going to be 6, so this is going to be 26, and then we have 1, 1, and these are not plus signs back here, they're just combining them together. Next, we have 5 plus 2, which is 7. And then now we have a string, so we have to add quotes around it. And then we have the combination of parenthesis 1 plus 1. And then we have 4 plus 2 times 3, which is 6. So we're going to have 46, like this. Lastly, we have this string down here of 1. So we can write 1 here for this. And then we have 2, 3, and then 4. So we'll have 2, 3, 4. Because these plus signs are just combining these strings and they're not adding them together. Next we have 5 times 6, which is 30. And then we have the string 7. Next, we have 8 plus 9, and this is in parentheses, so it's actually going to be uh, 17. And that plus sign right here is combining the strings, not adding them. So this is the answer for that part. And that is all of the exercises.